It's time the baby grow up. It's about time. Y'all don't think so? Yeah. Yeah, it's about time the baby grow up. You can't have a 2,000 year old baby walking around and they still call him a baby. So it's time the baby grow up, right? <laughs> Tickle your brain. Uh, this morning, I go to two texts. Uh, John chapter 13 and verse 25. God, please guide my mind and help that what I say in this sermonette will help someone to be drawn closer to you. In Jesus' name, amen. John chapter 13, and I go to verse 27. 13, 27 of John, it says, And after the saw, Satan entered into him, that's into Judas. Then said Jesus unto him, That thou doest, do quickly. Verse 30 says, He then, having received the sup, went immediately out, and it was night. That thou doest, do quickly. People have all types of things they do during the lifetime. And as we have come to the penultimate Sabbath, in this year, second to last, am I correct? Second to last in 2023. There were lists and resolutions that people made at the beginning of 2023. Some of you can't even remember what those were. We just make them. And the more we make these resolutions, the more we break them. And we prioritize and we decide what are the things we want to do. And you know, when we prioritize what we want to do, we end up doing them. Yeah, we end up doing them. And here it is, Jesus says to Judas, what you are about to do, do it quickly. Now, Jesus was not suggesting to Judas that he must go out and hang himself. No. He wasn't doing that. Uh, you see, Judas had collected money, having betrayed Jesus. And Jesus did not embarrass Judas. And that's the thing that we as Christians uh, must learn. When you know that somebody has sinned, don't embarrass them. And the concept is in the Bible. In Matthew chapter 18, you on a one-on-one -on -one approach the individual if you know they have sin. Don't broadcast the sin. Don't put a sin on Facebook. Don't take a picture of them sinning. No, don't do that. That wouldn't help. Now, Jesus' method uh, was pointing out to Judas uh, through his kindness to Judas uh, that you are on the wrong path. And now this is the night before crucifixion, Judas. Uh, we are at the wire, Judas. Uh, I'm about to be crucified. And you still have that blood money in your pocket? Judas, you got to do something. Uh, so Judas uh, was, uh, was being told in a kind way by Jesus, you sin in, you have sin in your life. Uh, so what you are about to do, do quickly in other words, and uh, get rid of the sin that is in your life. And uh, that is what Jesus Christ was in for it. Uh, because you notice, uh, after he said that, uh, Judas went out and he took the money, uh, 30 pieces of silver, and he took it back to the priest. Follow the story. We've been biblical here. He gives it to them. They say, what well, we have to do with that? The deal is done. If even you bring back the money, are we still are going to get him, Jesus, so that we can crucify him? So Judas was frustrated at that point. Uh, follow me. 
There's another character, G uh, Peter by name. Whenever I speak of Judas, I like to think about Peter because it gives me hope. Uh, Peter betrayed Jesus Christ also. Uh, listen, you ever went down to Grenville uh, where the fishermen are? Or any place, Guav, wherever? Uh, myself and my cameraman went there a time uh, to do devotion, to record stuff. We had to move because cost what to get on the devotion. We had to move. Uh, so here is Peter. Uh, the young lady, the damsel, said uh, he is one of them. He was with Jesus, compared the two stories. And uh, when Peter denied Jesus uh, three times, and then for cock crow, uh, then it is uh, that uh, Jesus looked at Peter. Just a look. Careful with a look. Just a look. That discerning, piercing look. Told Peter, same thing I say. For cock crow, same thing I say. Look, you deny me. Not once, not twice, thrice. Look at Peter like Judas. It was night for both Peter and night for Judas. And both of them went out into the night. Uh, Peter wept bitterly. They say, men don't cry. We don't let y'all see when we cry. Yeah, you know. That's the difference. We don't let you see. You think it's fun to get a wife crying and a husband crying too? So, so I don't let my wife see when I cry. If I just cry. No, she mustn't see. But here it is. That big, burly, strong fisherman. Now they didn't have outboard motor then to carry the boat wherever. You had to row side all. So Peter had to be a strong Holy, muscular, robust, macho individual. And that big man went out and cried. Why? He cried because he disappointed Jesus. Uh, Peter also went out into the night. And what he had to do, he did quickly. That is asking forgiveness of God. Let me bring this home. Judas hung himself. Peter wept bitterly because he was sorry, genuinely sorry for what he did. And afterwards we noticed Peter being one of the most outstanding preachers on the day of Pentecost. Question to you. Now sermons have a different impact and effect on different individuals. Yeah, I know because I sit and listen to sermons, I prepare sermons, and sometimes when I'm preparing a sermon, I have to stop because the sermon talking to me. I hear you. Yeah, I gotta stop. I so here I stop at this point and ask you, what is it that you have to do quickly before 2023 come to a close. I don't know. I'm happy that I am not a priest that take confession. I don't know. I don't know your personal life. I don't know. Uh, but whatever it is, uh, Jesus Christ said, what thou doest do quickly. Is it that you are keeping back some of the tithe? Is that it? Uh, is it uh, that perhaps... Uh, is it that perhaps uh, you have a sin problem? Is it that perhaps uh, you have art against your brother or sister? Uh, is it uh, that uh, you are not keeping all of the Ten Commandments? Uh, is it uh, that you and your wife have a problem? Now listen, when we have personal relationship problem in our home, it's difficult to take the communion, you know. Difficult. we got to make it right. With that individual first, I want a son or daughter, a husband or wife, and what you do, I do quickly. Now, the issue this morning is that if you have a sin issue, don't walk out of this church and don't clear it up with God. Talk to God like Peter did. If you have to weep, go ahead. And ask God to make it right with you. Only he can do it. 
Only he can do it. I love the Bible. I must mention this as I close. You realize that Judas was a follower of Christ. But that's putting it lightly. Uh, Judas sat with Jesus. For three and a half years, uh, Judas was taught by Jesus. Why are you following this? Uh, Judas saw Jesus performing miracles. Uh, Judas saw Jesus raising the widow of Nain's son back to life. There's power, you know. And the real one that sticks in my head is that Judas saw Jesus saying to Lazarus, come forth after he was dead for four long days. And that is the man that Judas chose to betray. Follow, follow, don't miss this. Peter saw that also. And Peter said, even though I denied him, I want to work for him. I want to be attached to him. I want to be closely connected to him. That's the way we should run our lives. As you go into 2023, I would like 2024, I would like you to remember Mark chapter 1 and verse 25. You know what it says? As he, Jesus, as his custom was, he went into a solitary place and they prayed. And the, 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 the next verse says, and Simon and the others followed Jesus. Okay. What do you get it? We're not talking about Judas wasn't a backslider, you know. No. He wasn't a backslider. And Judas observed all the miracles. And Judas also observed that Jesus prayer life and he followed. But here, there was something missing, and that is that uh, Judas preferred to hold on to what this world has to offer and to give up eternal life. So Jesus Christ was saying, hey, hurry up! What you doing, do quickly! Go and give back the money, and then come back to me for the look of approval. You won't see it there, but it's in front. But he chose to hold on to what this world has to offer. 30 pieces of silver, the price of a slave. He didn't even get to spend it. He didn't even get to say, well, I won't go down KFC and eat out the 30 darling food. He gave it back, remorse. But he stopped short. Don't miss. He stopped short, brethren. Brethren, whatever you do, you have to do in terms of your personal life. Don't tell me. Tell God. Amen. You would know what it is. Do it quickly. And stay closely connected to Jesus Christ.